The arches are dark. The saddest sight in all fast food. When you choose to eat fast food, you know you're not going to be presented with a gourmet meal on a silver platter. But you at least expect a few standards to be upheld. Sometimes, though, disappointment happens. Here are 10 funny fast food fails that will make you want to eat at home. Well, it won't be anything fancy. Just a uh, little home cooking. Some assembly required at McDonald's. The wonderful dinner, some assembly required. This McDonald's customer decided to give in to their Big Mac craving and hit up the drive through only to get home and see this poorly constructed creation. We see a lot of lettuce and onions and two very empty buns put together. Clearly, someone wasn't paying attention when they assembled this burger. Now, we know that not everything you get at any restaurant, fast food or otherwise, is going to look like the ad advertised picture. It's a shame I'm just now discovering this. Most people don't expect picture-perfect fast food, but this is another level. This is clearly the work of someone who either didn't care about their job or was too busy trying to pump out a million orders to pay more attention to one food item at a time. Subway takes extra pickles to a whole new level. Where is this pickle? Pickle juice is becoming an in-demand ingredient to add a twist to a lot of classic things, from alcoholic drinks to slushies. That sounds gross. But if this feels obsessive, there's apparently a scientific reason that people are so obsessed with pickles. It has to do with the addictive quality of salt and its correlation with the reward center of our brain. Salt has also been connected to dehydration and electrolyte imbalances, which means some of us just crave pickles because something's amiss. So when it comes to fast food, there is always that one person that has to ask for extra pickles. Well, Subway decided to indulge this particular customer's obsession by completely loading their sub with a massive amount of pickles. Clearly, though, since Subway does make the sandwiches in plain sight, this pickle lover was okay with it. Can I get some more pickles? Of course. The McDonald's Extra Crunchy Hash Brown. No, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna do it. There aren't a lot of things in this world more satisfying than a greasy, crispy potato for breakfast. However, sometimes fast food breakfast can be more than disappointing. This poor unfortunate soul was chomping away on a McDonald's hash brown when they noticed something was crunchier than normal. This, ladies and gents, is a dead cockroach on this person's hash brown. Oh, that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen! Someone actually deep fried this hash brown and put it in a bag. And I either didn't notice or didn't care that this disgusting bug was hanging on for the ride. Bugs found in the food is not actually an unheard of complaint from fast food restaurants, unfortunately. McDonald's itself is no stranger to reports of bugs being found in their food products, and a lot of it seems to be found in their breakfast products. Now that's what we call a McFail. Chemical condiments at Taco Bell. Stop that! Don't eat that! That's not food! Instead of giving the customer their fire sauce, Taco Bell decided they could use some floor cleaner instead. Imagine the surprise when the customer came home and discovered that not only were they given dangerous chemicals, they were also now missing their fire sauce. That's the real tragedy here! That's like a double whammy of disappointment. At least this person didn't actually eat the floor cleaner and noticed it just in time. When you really think about this, it's hard to imagine how it even happened in the first place. Was the worker who was making the food just bored and decided to cause a little chaos? Or was this a genuine mistake that happened because some people decided not to follow basic restaurant rules? Either way, we're a little confused. Everyone who takes their food safety training course, or even any workplace safety course, would know that you should never store dangerous and potentially deadly poisonous chemicals so close to the food you are serving your customers. Because things like this can happen. And it could have ended up being a lot worse. Either one of two things would have happened. One, a trip to the hospital after calling poison control. Or two, a pretty cool origin story for a new superhero. Taco Man, perhaps? Was saved! What's your name, new hero? This undercooked popcorn chicken from Sonic. So crisp. Of course it's crisp, it's raw! Speaking of things that could have been a lot worse, this undercooked popcorn chicken from the Sonic drive through is slightly frightening. When you order food from a fast food restaurant, you don't expect it to be the highest possible quality, but you do at least expect it to be cooked to the point where you're not at risk for salmonella poisoning. This is what you're making? Poached salmonella? It's one thing to have a bit of pink in your burger, but raw chicken is not acceptable. Anyone working in a fast 
fast food restaurant or any establishment that sells food to paying customers needs to go through food handling and safety training. This person clearly failed theirs or just stopped caring altogether. According to popular opinion, Sonic is best left for the milkshakes and ice cream and not for the actual food. This picture proves that. The silver lining, though, is that at least you can tell it's real chicken, right? Yes, I suppose that's true. A Burger King burger that was missing just one thing. Wait, where's the actual sustenance? Where, where's the beef? Looks like someone forgot the part of the burger that actually makes it a burger. It looks like the Wendy's slogan, where's the beef, could come in handy right about now. It's understandable that these mistakes happen. Everyone is rushing around trying to get orders out in a short amount of time. But imagine how you'd feel if you'd been craving that juicy beef patty all day and then got home to find out that it wasn't there at all. What a disappointment you've turned out to be. Especially when the price of a burger has been going up steadily within the last few years. It's hard to say you got your money's worth when you didn't even get home with a patty. This is more like a salad on a bun. You would think that a missing burger patty would be hard not to notice before wrapping it up. I mean, Burger King is the name of the restaurant, and the burger part is key there. When the actual burger is missing, it's just a sandwich. A pretty plain and boring one at that. That sandwich is making me sad. A Subway sandwich with a free kitchen knife. If anybody's gonna get free stuff, it's gonna be me. Imagine your surprise when you open your sandwich and see a knife poking out at you. That's not really something that goes well with your ham and cheese sub. This also could have been pretty dangerous if this customer was one of those people who just ripped the wrapper open to get to the sandwich. If that happened, there would be a serious injury on that person's hands and could result in some pretty dire consequences for that Subway and the employee who did this. We should sue you! Do we even know the last time that knife was properly cleaned? What if there was hot pepper juice on that knife and then the customer cut themselves trying to open the sub? That could be really, really painful, even if they just end up with a small cut. Now, there are a lot of theories that could possibly explain how this knife ended up in this sandwich. Most realistic is that the employee just used it to help roll up the sandwich and forgot to take it out. If we're being completely honest, though, these are pretty decent restaurant quality knives, and we can understand if the customer just kept the knife. Whoa, congrats. Wait, that's stealing. The extra bacon that wasn't very extra at Wendy's. Eat the bacon, it'll lubricate your heart. If there's one thing we know for sure, it's that extra bacon is never a bad idea. Bacon is just one of those foods that goes with everything, whether it's a dessert or a main course. You can get bacon ice cream, bacon infused alcohol, bacon popcorn, and a variety of other bacon flavored creations. There are even entire festivals dedicated to bacon now. It's especially delicious when it's on your fast food sandwich. However, when you order extra bacon, you generally expect to get more than half a piece of bacon. You can reasonably expect at least one solid piece of bacon, even at the cheapest of places. It's safe to say that this particular Wendy's customer was pretty disappointed with the actual amount of bacon that they got when they asked for extra bacon on their chicken sandwich. Instead of biting into a delicious flavor combination of bacon and fried chicken, this person decided to double check before before they went through that disappointment. I don't want to say that ruins my day, but that ruins my day. In fact, it almost looks like someone deliberately ripped a piece of bacon in half to add to this sandwich instead of just putting the whole piece on. For a fast food joint that boasts such staples as the Baconator and the Bacon Deluxe, it's pretty disappointing that they would skimp out like this when the customer is paying for extra bacon. With their all-new Crave menu that's loaded up with more bacon than you can fathom, we know there's enough bacon in Wendy's kitchens to go around. Makes you wonder if whoever served up this burger had a grudge against this customer for some reason. Well, more bacon for the rest of us. KFC is fresh as a feather? Stan, you said your mom was bringing Kentucky Fried Chicken home for dinner. Now, is she or isn't she? That's really taking fresh to a whole new level at this particular KFC, but we're more disgusted than anything. One particular KFC customer was surprised to see this feather stuck to a piece of fried chicken, and we don't blame them. Who knows? knows how long it's been sitting there. There is also another issue. Bird feathers are known to be capable of carrying tons of diseases that can even
easily spread to humans. In fact, they can carry any number of viruses, parasites, and germs that cause those diseases. He's covered in germs and bacteria. Oh, you can't get diseases from a bird! This person could have gotten really sick if they accidentally ate this feather, regardless of where this one came from. Then we'd be talking about a much more serious situation here. We have so many questions about this. Just how, exactly, does a feather even get on a piece of deep-fried chicken? What could the explanation possibly be for this particular situation? Something is very, very wrong here. Maybe someone dragged it in on their clothing and it somehow ended up in the chicken. Whatever the reason may be, it's not the worst that could happen, but it's certainly not an ideal situation. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Someone missed a step at Taco Bell. Something's gone terribly wrong. We don't really work at Taco Bell, but we're pretty sure you're supposed to take the Doritos taco out of the cardboard wrapping before it gets put in the soft shell. Taco Bell always has their signature crispy menu items, but we don't really think they mean it this literally. This is the sign of an employee that just has had enough, or simply just forgot to pay attention during that step. There's really no other explanation for it, because they would have had to prepare pair the Doritos taco in the paper before they put the soft shell on top and squish it together. We don't know what time this happened at or where this happened, but maybe it's safe to say that someone was a little tired working the graveyard shift and just could not care any less. Either way, it's another one of those not a big deal situations, but it would take quite a bit of work to separate those items and restructure it properly. Oh my god, this is a travesty. You've got your cheese already melted to the cardboard. So when you remove it, you're losing a lot of cheese, unless you're planning on licking it off the wrapper. Sure, you could rely on the cheese inside the taco, but let's be real, that's just not enough. Hopefully this person was still at the Taco Bell and they could exchange it for another, and that they didn't make it all the way home just to find this in their takeout bag. That's the third time today you've got an order wrong and we've only had three customers. Help yourself to more and tap that screen for our next great video. Checking us out for the first time? Then take Take a second to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.